Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Louis Hongu Cho, and I would like to discuss about some academic tips for incoming freshman students at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. So who am I? My name is Louis Hongu Cho, and my Korean name is Cho Songu. I'm a Korean American, and I got my master's in civil engineering on May 2025, and a bachelor's of science with honors in civil engineering with a primary specialization in transportation on May 2024, and also a minor in computer science in May 2024. I do research in mainly uh, in the field of autonomous vehicles and intelligent transportation systems. And I'm interested about artificial intelligence, smart mobility, and transit. I was a graduate research assistant in the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering from July 2024 to May 2025, and I was an undergraduate research assistant in civil, the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering from May 2023 to May 2024. And um, I was a graduate representative for the Institute of Transportation Engineers UIUC chapter from May 2024 to May 2025, and I was the president for two years. And you can check more information about me in this website. First of all, congratulations to all of you who got accepted to UIUC. And I want to sincerely welcome all incoming freshman students to the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. This will be you in four years time. First and foremost, um, you should run the degree audit to know which courses are required uh, for you to graduate. Um, you can use the degree audit report here and um, definitely check out the link I pasted here. And also um, please check the pl placement test requirements. Um, some majors require you to take the placement exams. Um, honestly, they're just easy to take. Um, just know your stuff from high school. Um, for me, since I came from a civil engineering background, I had to just take math, chemistry, and physics. I'm very easy to pass, but don't feel intimidated. Um, definitely don't forget to check uh, with your advisor about your results. And yes, um, for more information, you can check out this link. And um, please also check um, the college credits you got from your AP and uh, IB exams. Now, since I'm coming from an engineering background, I always advise high school students who want to study engineering in college to have taken the following um, advanced placement or advanced topic courses. These are the AP and the AT courses and exams I took from high school. Um, I did not include AP biology because unless you are going to major in bioengineering, neural engineering, or go into pre-med or any biology related majors, uh, you don't really need to take AP biology. Um, AP statistics does not give you credit to any of the engineering based uh, probability and statistics courses at UC. It only gives credit to STAT 100 um, if you get a good score. Uh, you might also want to take the CS124 proficiency exam if you got a five on AP Computer Science A. Um, although uh, CS124 covers approximately 35% more content than the AP Computer Science A course, um, such as some elementary data structures like trees, linked lists, uh, graphs, um, still, for UCS majors, um, it might be a proficiency exam that you might be interested in taking. Um, if you go to college credit through dual enrollment for multivariable calculus and linear algebra, um, then you don't have to take the proficiency exams for Calc 3 and Linalge. Um, definitely, please let your um, academic advisors know about your um advanced placement, IB, um, dual enrollment credits. 
And if your high school does not offer the aforementioned um, AP courses, then that's okay. Uh, because I will be now talking about proficiency exams. I highly recommend you to take the proficiency exams to save time and money um, because there are certain weed-out classes that, um, that are definitely worth skipping. The exam itself can be taken once or twice, but please double-check um, with the exam policy. And if you want, if you pass, then you will get a P on the transcript. The good news is failing scores are not reported. A uh, foreign language class, such as not English, um, taken for three levels during high school counts. Um, if you did not take a foreign language at high school, you're going to have to take two years of it at UIUC. Um, if your high school did not offer a foreign language you wanted to take, then you may uh, want to sign up for the proficiency exam. Uh, for example, um, if your second language is Korean, but you did not take Korean in high school, um, you can uh, tr definitely try taking the Korean language proficiency exam. Um, since three levels sounds ambiguous, um, I would strongly recommend you all to call the admission officers to check whether the foreign language courses that you have taken during high school um, fulfills the foreign language requirement. So yeah, that's just my personal recommendation. And moving on to the gen ed requirements, um, these are usually regarded as GPA boosters and um, definitely spread these courses out. Um, the number of gen ed classes you have to take may depend on like your program. And also definitely take gen ed classes that fulfill multiple requirements. Uh, for example, Dance 100 fulfills the humanities and arts and Western culture requirement. GGIS 101 fulfills social and behavior science and non-Western culture requirement. And um, for those of you Granger engineers, um, engineering requires 12 credit hours of gen ed, six hours from uh, social science and six hours from humanities arts. You must take a gen ed that fulfills um, Western, non-Western, and U.S. minority. Uh, feel free to check out the link about the gen ed description, uh, gen ed informations. So here are some uh, gen ed courses that many of my friends recommend you all to take. Um, Dance 100, Econ 102, GGIS 101, Max 100, Music 132, Music 133. Uh, SHS 222, SPED 117, UP 185, Theo 101, JGIS 204, and the list goes beyond, but there are too many, so I couldn't put all of them, but yeah. And unfortunately, here are some weed out classes all of you should know. These classes can be unnecessarily uh, difficult to get a good grade on. Uh, because they are meant to give you a strong foundational skills in engineering and sciences, but honestly, you could feel intimidated. So um, these classes do have a lot of exam and homework assignments, so be aware of the schedule. Um, if you think you can understand these concepts confidently through self-setting and passing the proficiency exam or taking at a community college, uh, that's understandable and I respect your decisions. Um, make sure that you're not taking too many difficult courses when you're taking the um, aforementioned weed out classes because time management is very important throughout college. And um, average grades for courses actually vary by sections and which professor teaches the class. Um, definitely check out this website created by a computer science professor, Wade Fagan Ohm Schneider, that compares a great disparity between the course sections. Um, it's actually a website that um, visualizes like the average grades between like um, sections for like a class. And um, I understand that some classes can have like, you know, a higher um, average grade. And some classes can have like lower average grades. So um, you definitely might want to check out 
through this website uh, when like choosing the sections between courses. So yeah, just for your information. And definitely please be careful with overloading. Too much classes in one semester can cause a lot of stress. Uh, please balance your time schedule. And if you're not sure about overloading, always check with your advisor and friends whether um if um the schedule you overloaded is whether plausible or not. And these are some combinations um, to avoid. Don't take C300 and C331 or C310, 335, for example, because like these courses have high volume of workload. And I also included a couple of more just for your um, information because you may not have enough time to study for the exams or like, you know, complete the assignments because of such a high um, work volume um, for some of the combinations here. So yeah, please be aware of that. Also about um, taking courses at community college. Um, community colleges do offer some equivalent courses at U of I, but if you are planning to take a course through a community college and um, you wanna transfer that over to U of I, please definitely check transferology. Um, here is the website link. I paste it here. And also definitely check with um, your undergraduate um, academic advisor just to be safe. That's what I would always do if I want to take you know, a course outside of U of I and want to transfer that over to U of I to fulfill like certain requirements. So yeah. Just keep in mind of that, please. And um, here are some useful study materials um, I used to study for like um, my courses. And also I want to talk about course availability notification. Um, popular courses do get filled quickly. So you definitely want to set up notifications when a spot opens up. So you would want to log into Course Explorer here. Um, I highlight it here in red. Then definitely you want to um, search for the subject. Uh, let's say, for example, CS441 Applied Machine Learning. Uh, definitely don't forget to uh, put a star here. And um, this will uh, notify you if a spot opens up. So, yeah. And mental health management. Um, college is definitely going to be very stressful and you're not alone with this issue. For me personally, I had to encounter numerous stressful situations. Um, it's always nice to talk to your friends and family um, if you're not feeling well. Also definitely um, reach out to your academic advisor as well. Um, if you're not really feeling well, if um, good about you know your schedule, maybe you're, ha you're taking like uh, multiple tough courses at once, or like you're trying to get accustomed to the new college environment. Um, that's totally understandable. Um, definitely enjoy some social life. Um, don't be all. Don't always stay at the library studying, studying, studying. Um, definitely like um, go out there. Um, Look for some like um, activities that might interest you. Definitely hang out with like friends. And um, this is just my personal recommendation. Uh, definitely go to CAMS after if you've taken like a very stressful exams. It's like a really um, big club area um, where like uh, many people enjoy to de-stress. So yeah. And um, here are some links to like counseling services and definitely call 988 um, if you're feeling very, very like unwell mentally. So yeah, um, here are some civil engineering courses I took. Um, the courses highlighted in bold are transportation engineering specific courses I had to take for my primary specialization in transportation engineering. The rest are course of, uh, engineering courses I had to take. 
I'm so glad I took all the fun transportation engineering courses. No wonder why uh, UIUC um, civil engineering is like the best in Illinois. And definitely, yep, yeah, um, the, the CE department does have a lot of fun classes to take. And here are the computer science courses I took for my minor. The courses highlighted in bold are classes you have to take for your CS minor. So once you're done with that, um, you can take two uh, 300 or 400 level CS courses. Please check um, the degree requirements for the minor um, because some like uh, 300 and 400 level CS classes don't count. So I would definitely keep an eye on that. And I decided to take as many CS courses I can because um, UIUC has the best CS program in the state of Illinois. And the artificial intelligence classes here are definitely nice. So definitely check those out. And very important, don't forget to make new friends. Um, connect with freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and seniors here. Um, grad students and alumni are also amazing and happy to help. And also uh, LinkedIn is very popular and useful for networking and job search. Uh, last but not least, best of luck to the incoming uh, freshman students and ILL. Thank you very much for listening to my presentation and good luck once again.